work together. That's what I think they should do. Anyway. <laughs> they could star in a buddy move together, a buddy movie together. They could be in a buddy movie star joint. They could be a crime fighting team, you know. <laughs> yeah, why not? <laughs> star and Rush. St Starsky and Rush. There you are, Starsky and Rush. <laughs> Starsky and Rush. Yes. She. <laughs> She's, um, she's like a master of disguise who can change her shape by manipulating her loose skin and... <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Wow! <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm an alien! <laughs> boom, boom, boom. I'm Tom Brokaw! <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> she can do that and, and he'll be a maverick cop who just can't get wood. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Rush, hand over your badge and your nightstick. I said your nightstick, mister. <laughs> you got to think, though, about the Rush Limbaugh thing, right? Now, why, why would airport security bust someone for having Viagra? you got to think about this for a minute. It's obviously some kind of plot. Because, you know, what are they concerned about this guy's got Viagra? What are they concerned Rush is going to hijack the plane with his erection? What's he going to do with it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in charge of this flight now. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I just have. <laughs> I have never taken Viagra. I never have taken it. <laughs> no, it's a yet for me. Not yet. I haven't taken it yet. But I have had an erection that lasted for more than four hours. <laughs> It lasted from when I was uh, 13 till I was about 40, actually. <laughs> but it's, it's wearing off now, it's wearing off. It's wearing, it's, some days it's low, some days it's still impossible to live with, I tell you. <laughs> Other days, just a distant memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, hey, Viagra though, it's not a very sexy name for a drug, is it? You know, because these companies have, uh, the drug companies, they've got whole teams of people who their only job is to think up names for drugs. And they come up with Viagra. You know, they want to some, see, they, they have to have something that sounds kind of medical and kind of Latin. Because people think, oh, if it's kind of Latin sounding, then I'll be, you know, <laughs> then it must be all right. But they should have something a little sexier than Viagra. What about Humpus Maximus? There you are. <laughs> Humpus Maximus. <laughs> Yes. Humpus Maximus. Yes, Caesar. <laughs> a message from Rome, Humpus Maximus. Bring him this way. <laughs> Don't point that at me. Sorry, sir. <laughs> I see you're carrying the staff of the Legion. No, it's not. Never mind. <laughs> I don't, I wouldn't take the Viagra though, because I don't, I don't need a pill to make me more horny, actually. <laughs> Thank you very much. But apparently, uh, the Viagra doesn't make you more horny, it just kind of gives you a kick start. <laughs> you know, and it doesn't make your partner more attractive, it, you know, you need it. <laughs> That's beer, the, the beer does that. <laughs> I, I don't know if there's a female equivalent of Viagra. I, I think, and I think I speak for all men when I say, I don't really care if there's a female. <laughs> You know, I, I'm sorry for talking about sex, but it's, uh, but it's a free country. Come on, I'm allowed to. <laughs> and also, I didn't get a ch When I grew up at school, we were not really taught about sex at school in, in Scotland. Um, the sex education when I, when I got at, at school was, consisted of watching toads hump in a... <laughs> it was in a, in a fish tank in the classroom. It was, I'm not kidding. It was a, a very embarrassed, you know, Scottish science teacher with his pipe and his little lab coat on. And he, he's obviously been told you have to do the sex education. Just show them the toads. And, <laughs> and it, oh, it was really... It, he was embarrassed. We were all embarrassed. It was awful. You know, and he came in smoking his pipe and he's like, well, boys and girls, these, uh, these toads are in love and they're married. Um... <laughs> I uh, performed the ceremony myself earlier in the Toad Chapel, anyway. And I believe they were married because they kind of looked miserable. Uh, but they... <laughs> and they only had sex once a year. But no, no. <laughs> But Toads having sex is not, you know, it's not really Mr. Toad's wild ride. <laughs> it's not. I don't know if you've ever seen it. It's more like Mr. Toad's disgruntled shuffling. 
that that is why no one's ever made a fortune on Toads Gone Wild. Because because they because they don't really. But for years after this lesson, I thought the the only way to have sex with a woman was to jump on her back, touch her warts, and shout rivet. <laughs> Hey, and a lot of people like that, I'm just saying. <laughs> I remember the, the, uh, they used to say that you could get high from licking toads. <laughs> you know, you lick the toads and you, you get high. It doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> it doesn't get you that. But the toads enjoy it, so that's all. Yeah. Worldwide Pants.